Okay, I've got the fence moved, which allows me to have room to drive in a pickup truck or a Jeep, or even if I uh, didn't build anything right away, just uh, leveled this out and put some gravel down, I could park the Jeep and the Volkswagen and might even squeeze the saw in right there, get them all out of the way. I got enough room, I believe, to drive in and, and make the turn. And when I am working on this, this would be all free, you know, so the fence is out of the way for that. Uh, even though my corner is full of junk over there, there's a nice little picnic spot right back here. And I'm going to wait till this evening to see. I believe the sun kind of swings around to the uh, south and then goes down over there in the west. So I think this area right here is going to kind of stay shady. I think it might be a good place to put the uh, table and the chairs and the barbecue grill. Uh, plus, we got the bird feeders out here. I see a pretty little bird with some red markings on the on the feeder right over there. So it might make a lot nicer picnic spot than back here. Uh, I had those sawhorses with the boat sitting on it, and I put the boat up on this camper, and it actually works out real well that way, so I think I'm going to bust those sawhorses up and throw them in the burn pile, because they wasn't much anyway, and the longer they sat around, the worse they've gotten. So, and that's actually not a bad place for the boat to sit right there. In fact, I could park the boat in the Jeep right over here on this. I made a new flat spot with the dirt that I wheelbarreled over here from that, so. That's a good place to park something too. Uh, the only thing I got left to clean up is this big piece of plywood, and I'll tell you the story about it. When I bought this house, this was in here, and I think somebody who lived here at one time was a kind of considered himself a woodworker, and he he did a lot of fancy stuff on the other side of it here. I suspect those are his initials. And he carved out that little stop sign and made some different shapes and put on there. I don't know what it was, maybe it was a door to a kid's room or something, but I kind of saved it when I bought the house, but over years it's just been sitting around and being in the way, and I could use that piece of plywood. I got a piece of that old uh, uh, horsehair plaster ceiling coming down in there, and it's letting the cotton molten insulation rain down in that room, that back room, and I was thinking, well, I could take that little piece of plywood once I pull all this stuff off of it and nail it to the ceiling and kind of stop up that hole till we get ready to do something more permanent back there. So I think that's just what I'm going to do. I'll save this stop sign just because it's kind of interesting. I'll probably hang it on the wall in the garage. I'll take the rest of this and uh, put it in the kindling pile or use anything that's usable from that. And uh, that kind of gets things cleaned up back here a good bit more than they were. And then we'll uh, move on. i got other work I want to do. Uh, some of it has to do with the hot rod and such. So we'll see how all that goes.